Hey, Deborah again with Fleet and Family. So hopefully by now you've had the opportunity to think about small acts that you can take to help somebody when they're in need and you've thought about some of those things that you can do to make sure that you are good to go. Practicing that self-care to make sure that you are coming from a place to be able to support someone in their time. I am also here to tell you that unfortunately life does not discriminate. So it doesn't matter what your age, what your background, your ethnicity, race, religion, none of that. Just throw it out the window. Life doesn't take any of that into consideration when it decides to throw a curveball your way, right? So with that being said, we have to think about some of those times within our own lives or within our friends' lives that could potentially cause someone to maybe be a little extra stressed or anxious or just having a difficult time dealing with what's going on. Especially as someone who is in the military uh, or someone who is a part of a military family, being a spouse, there are quite a few times where I can think of that you know, make military life just a little bit interesting. Um, I've had a lot of great experiences as a spouse. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely would not change it for the world. And I mean it. Um, but it's not always been easy, right? But that's also life, right? Life isn't always easy. Uh, and so it throws things at us. It throws maybe financial issues, right? Sometimes we find ourselves in a bind. Especially for the military community, it could be a bigger you know, concern because our finances are tied to security clearances. So it could be something where we find ourselves getting into some of that you know, support. We need support. We need financial support. But we just don't know how to dig ourselves out of that hole that maybe we've gotten ourselves into uh, and then know kind of what that means going forward from there. It could be a relationship, right? It could be maybe a very special relationship with someone that you care deeply about. It could be a sibling. Um, maybe, you know, you get into an argument and you really value that person's input and their input is not what you had wanted and it causes a rift to form between the two of you. Now that relationship isn't as strong and that can be scary to some. Health issues, right? Maybe we um, are diagnosed with a terminal illness or maybe we know somebody who has been diagnosed. Maybe it is, especially now, you know, dealing with all the loss and illness that's going on Maybe we have a direct connection to that, right? And so it could be something dealing with our health. No matter what it is, it's a time that causes change in our lives, potentially. Uh, it's a, a time where we suffer loss in one way, shape, or form. And so when those times are taking place, we have to recognize that. We have to recognize it in ourselves, if it's our own personal loss or change that we're dealing with, or if we know that it's a friend, we have to be ready to look out for those red flags, right? During those times, are they starting to exhibit some changes, right? Anything that is really different and out of their norm. Now that doesn't mean the slightest change is going to mean that they're thinking about suicide, but just some things that we need to be able to put together, right? We need to be that detective, put our detective hat on, and, and kind of pay close attention, right, to what might be going on in that person's life. So we are very fortunate to have some tricks, if you will, to be able to remember some of these signs and these red flags to look out for. So I hope that you have seen something like this before. Um, whether it looks exactly like this or not is not important at this moment, but I want you to think about the acronym. That is what's important, and that's IS PATH WARN. IS 
path warm is a great way to allow us to think about, again, some of those warning signs that we may see and we may need to look out for when it comes to those that we care about. Is someone talking about it? Are they thinking about it? Do they have a plan, right? That ideation, okay? Substance abuse is also a big one, okay? With that, you know, is it in excess? Is it to the point where it could become lethal? Are they reckless with things that are going on? Trapped. Maybe that's how they feel. Maybe they use those words. Maybe they don't. But do they feel like there's, there's nowhere to go? Do they feel like there's no way out of the situation that they're in? Has it kind of you know, spiraled down and, and they feel like ending their life is the only way that anything good could come out of the situation? Mood changes. You know, is, is the person who is usually Little Miss Sunshine not so bright and chipper anymore? Um, likewise, maybe it's the person that you're like, oh man, you know, never really a great thing to, to say, doesn't have much going on, kind of always that Eeyore in a situation. Maybe they turn into Little Miss Sunshine or Little Mr. Sunshine. Um, so just those changes that we need to look out for. Anything that is out of the norm, take a look at those uh, warning signs. I know they are in your spaces. You have seen them. Reach out to us at Fleet and Family if you want a copy of this uh, to help you remember what those might be. But be on the lookout, right? When we start seeing those signs, when they start adding up, what is it that we do? Do you know? Can you be that person? Check with me in segment three to see what we need to do if we start seeing those signs.